Hey guys, this is Miss Cockrell. I hope you're doing well, and I hope that you've had a lot of fun working on your STEAM projects over the last week. Um, with this video, I hope to take you on a bit of an adventure. So, uh, you know, get your bags packed and ready to go. So as we are packing for our nature adventure, make sure to pack your inventor's notebook. This is where we're going to be keeping all of our notes for our ideas from the creation inspiration. For this nature excursion, we're going down to Gatesville, North Carolina to visit one of the state's beautiful parks. Welcome to Merchants Mill Pond State Park. This is a beautiful park full of walking trails and wildlife. The first thing you see when you get down to the boat dock is this beautiful view of the mill pond. Out of the water grow these majestic trees. There are bald cypress and tupelo gum trees. Let's take a closer look. Do you see this green stuff? It's called duckweed. Duckweed is very important to the ecosystem here. It helps to filter the water from harmful substances, as well as provide a food source and a habitat for the animals here at the mill pond. Join me as I walk along the Bennett's Creek Trail. This trail is about two miles long, and then it doubles back on a loop. Let's explore and see what we can find. Whoa there, wait a minute. I almost tripped over this strange rock. Huh, it doesn't look like a rock I've seen before. What do you think it is? Hey there, little fella. You're not a rock, you're a turtle. And I'm going to name you Tim. Tim the turtle. I think you're an eastern mud turtle. I can tell this because of your rounded top shell and the wonderful markings you have on the bottom of your shell. I bet you just woke up from your hibernation. You like to bury beneath the mud and leaves. As we walk along the pathway, I see bright spots of green, including this beautiful curled fiddlehead of a Christmas fern. You can see the leaves, or fronds, as they are known as a, on a fern, start to unfurl as spring continues. Let's look at another part of God's creation. These trees are covered with shelf or bracket fungi. Now, this isn't like the fungi you have on your pizza, also known as mushrooms, but it is very important. This fungi helps to break down materials and return them to the forest floor. This is good for soil. Shelf fungi also is another great habitat for many creatures to hide in. Can you see any evidence of a creature hiding here? Hmm. I spy with my little eye something among the mossy maze polypore fungi. Did you see the spiderweb hiding among the fast photo? I did too. Spiderwebs might seem scary, but they're an amazing display of God's creation. Just look at the delicate strands. They're so beautifully woven, yet very, very strong. It's amazing what God's creatures can do. Speaking of God's creatures, here are some more of our less friendly foul friends. Canadian geese. While beautiful to look at, they're not the nicest of the birds, and they might attack you if you get too close. So why don't we return to our friends the turtles? This is Gregorford, the yellow-bellied slider. He was very friendly and got very close to the camera. And as the sun rose higher and higher in the sky, more and more turtles came out on top of the logs to bathe in the sun. That just about concludes our adventure for today. But I hope this inspires you to go on a nature adventure of your own. Maybe you'll see something you've never seen before, like a really cool animal, or 
a ladder made for fish to climb from le one level of a dam to another. Seems pretty interesting to me. So keep working on your projects, guys. And please feel free to send me pictures or videos of your progress. And let me know what part of God's creation inspired you the most from this video, or maybe from your own nature excursion. I hope to see you guys soon. Bye. This is Brain Box. Brain Box.